Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have created a chart that makes use of an underlying grid of values upon which the data series are charted, you can set the formatting of the chart grid lines and value scaling. To do so, first click on a chart grid line to select it. Note that you may have to be very careful where you click, as it is sometimes tricky to select a chart grid line. Once it has been selected, choose Chart from the menu bar, then choose the Format Grid Lines command. Note that you could alternately right-click on a selected grid line, and then just choose the Format Grid Lines command from the pop-up menu that appears. In the Format Grid Lines dialog box, you can format all of the grid lines within your chart. On the Line tab, you can set the general formatting options, such as the color and thickness, for the selected grid lines. On the Scales tab, you can set scaling options, like the minimum and maximum values to display on the axis, the base measurement unit, and the major and minor scaling units. If you would like Crystal Reports to handle those settings, you can check the checkboxes under the Auto Scale column for a minimum value, maximum value, major interval, and minor steps. If you would like to specify your own value settings for any of these values sh that are shown, then simply uncheck the checkbox underneath the Auto Scale section, and then manually specify the desired value in the text box that appears to the right of the attribute label. You also have a separate section of checkbox options that you can check or uncheck to alter the appearance of the grid lines as desired. Then on the Layout tab, you can select whether or not to display the major and minor grid lines within the chart grid. You can also use the drop-downs that are available to specify additional stylistic settings for the appearance of the ticks and lines of the grid lines. Once you've set the appearance of the grid lines within the grid as you would like, click the OK button to close the dialog box and apply your selected formatting. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.